What is up everyone? Welcome back to Disc Golf Weekly. And this is actually just going to be a really quick sort of mini review um, on the Ozone Discs Andro 1. And this is actually just some old footage that I found um, on an old hard drive. And uh, it never got cut up, it never got made into a full video. Uh, so I'm just going to do a, a quick little couple minute review for you guys here. Um, like I said, this is the Andro 1. This is the very first run of the disc. Um, when, they, when they very first came out with it. And as you'll see, there's two different discs that I'll be throwing. There's a blue one and a green one. Uh, the green one is the more overstable version and the blue one is the more understable version. Uh, it's kind of like the blue is sort of like a buzz, the green is sort of like a rock um, in stability. Uh, but this disc is actually a cross between a mid-range and a fairway driver. Uh, so it's kind of right in that tweener slot. Um, it is a six speed, it does have a rim similar to that of a fairway driver, but you can definitely throw this thing on some mid-range lines as well. So this disc was actually sent to me quite some time ago uh, by the people over at Ozone Discs. Like I said, it's just really old footage. Um, so big thank you to them, big shout out to them, ozonediscs.com, definitely check them out. Um, but let's just get straight into the review. So here we have the more overstable version, throwing it into just a little bit of a left to right breeze. Um, threw it way too high there and you can see the breeze kind of pushed it off a little bit um, and then it just came crashing back down. And now here is the more understable version, a more of a straight shot. And between the two, if you are going to be playing in the wind, you're definitely going to want to be throwing the more overstable version as it handles wind much better. And now here again, just a nice long straight shot, kind of gave it too much hyzer and uh, hit those trees there. And there's my cameraman being ever so supportive. So here's more of a tightly wooded shot. It's a lot more wooded from the tee than this angle actually makes it look. You're probably throwing 60, 70 feet through, through a, maybe a six foot wide gap there. And now here is the more overstable version. The more understable version, I gave it kind of a little bit of hyzer and let it flip up. The more overstable version, I just threw it flat with some power. Once so I knew it could handle that wind that was out there in the open and I knew it would also kind of fade out towards the opening of the basket. And now here's where you see more of it as a cross between a fairway and a mid-range. That shot will normally throw a rock on a hyzer line just like that, and it'll start fading in before those trees, excuse me. Uh, but the Andro 1 had that glide and just carried straight into those trees on me. And this is just strong tail and just throw it up as high as you can, and hopefully the wind will give you some help. And this is again now with the more overstable version. This one I got over on it a little bit more and not quite as high. Uh, and you can see it's just kind of riding that wind just long and straight. Now here is going back into that same wind. Uh, brutal, brutal headwind on this one. As you can see I gave that a big hyzer on the more overstable version and it still flipped and got some turn on it. Really good distance. Um, Really good shot, but not a shot I would normally throw in those conditions. Now here's the more understable version. This was just kind of for fun. I knew this wasn't going to work out very well. Didn't give it quite enough hyzer, and um, <laughs> yeah, the wind kind of pushed that one off. Now here's more of a sidearm. Um, as you can see, handles the wind okay. My sidearm isn't the best, so if you were a more experienced sidearm player, um, you could probably get better lines out of it. This is about the extent of my sidearm game. Give me something overstable, let me throw a hyzer with it, um, and I can get you there just fine. But the hyzer flips, the, the Jeremy Colling type shots, I'm not, not so good at. And there, the more understable version, I just try to give it a little bit more power, uh, get it around those trees, and it did not quite work. Alright guys, that is the Andro 1 from Ozone Discs. Um, they do have the Andro C out now, which I'm in the process of working on a video for that. Uh, I don't know when it'll be out, I don't want to give you guys a date and then have it be late or anything like that. Um, but just know that that is coming sometime in the future, uh, as soon as possible. So again, big thank you to Ozone Discs, definitely check them out. Uh, super, super nice people, and they also have a retail online presence, uh, so if you're looking to pick some stuff up. I think they're out of New Jersey, so if you're on the East Coast, you should get the, the real quick shipping as well. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, go get out and throw.